All right, hey, what's going on, guys? It's Greg Jones with Engine Builder. We are at the 2024 PRI show. We're in the Crower booth, and I'm joined by Tina Pierce. Behind us is her top sportsman truck with a compressed air supercharged 509 cubic inch big block Chevy, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One and L Ring DOS Original. Tina, Hi. pleasure to see you again. Nice to meet you again. Yes. Yeah, people that follow the Engine of the Week series might remember that we had a chat at, yes. at Sick Week a couple yes. of years back. Yes, we did. We did. I probably was all hot and sweaty. My hair wasn't, <laughs> no makeup, but hair messed up. But yeah, yeah you, were it's the heat of, me. you were in the heat of competition. Yes, and, we uh, were. Yeah. You did pretty we well struggling. that year, too. We did okay. Yeah, yeah, we were struggling a little bit, but we made it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you had that, you had the Nova with you that mm -hmm. week. And, yes. Uh, Behind us here, you got your top sportsman truck. Yeah, we've had this truck for actually quite some time now, but we just changed it up. It was a street legal vehicle. And then over the winter last year, we took it all apart and put it all back together and made it more uh, race car. So that way um, we can be more competitive with the top sportsman class. We are still not quite as fast as we want to be, but we're getting there. We just ran out of temperature. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. got cold on us, so. That's awesome. Well, if there's anything I know about you, uh, you're a competitor and yes, you're always looking to yes, do better. So. Yes, yeah. So with this setup, you know, with, since bracket racing is what we're doing, this cold air really makes a difference on um, ET and and how it runs. So I, it, it's been. Press air there. supercharging. Yep. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about what you know about it and how it works, because it's pretty pretty cool how it functions, right? It is. It's very neat. It's actually everything that we do is uh, naturally aspirated until we make the pass. Burnout, everything, rolling up, everything is naturally aspirated. We're not using any boost, no power outers, nothing. But what happens is the we fill bottles. We have a compressor that takes the this regular air separates out the water and compresses the air in some bottles that we have in the trailer. Those bottles is what we fill our bottles with the truck. What makes this, I guess, so much differently is that that's all we're using is straight air and it's cold. Yeah. And so we have a temperature gauge on here that says it's like negative 90 degrees. Wow. So this air is what makes everything run so well and so fast and you can go anywhere from Colorado to Florida and you're still running the same so it's pretty it's pretty interesting how it works so that's very cool yep and tell us a little bit about you know how you got into running that system well we were actually at a Midwest drag racing series race and the there's me and another guy that runs it well the guy that run it I had to race him and I was like what kind of power adder was he using like I I didn't know anything about it and then we went over there and talked to him and they were like man we would like you to be on something like this too because they were looking kind of for a truck something to hold the bottles right. instead of a car because mark has his where all of his bottles are in certain areas too and it's thought it'd be a little bit better room anyways we started talking to him about nine months later we were like okay well let's try it because i mean it's hard to switch from what you know to something you don't know yeah and yeah. so that's how we really changed and that was about two years ago and then we had a stock block at that time. Okay. So everything has changed because we went yeah. to big block from small block. So we tested the whole first year with a small block and then this year's been with big block. So yeah. yep. Yeah, well like you were saying you got the, you had the twin turbos on the yes. Nova and, and yes. you're kind of more of a turbo, turbo person. But yeah. maybe this is starting to uh, it, change this your mind. is kind of starting to change my mind a little <laughs> bit. I do like it that is it it's quick and we're only getting faster with it. So I'm hoping we can run some good numbers and eventually we'll run four mile with it too. So yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Tina, outside of the compressed air supercharging stuff, you know, tell us a little bit more about the big block. Uh, I, I understand it's fairly similar yeah, to the it's, Nova. Yeah, it's simple. It's just a 509. There's nothing really special about it. Um, we wanted an, an engine that we didn't have to order special parts for. Uh -huh. That was a big deal for us because we've had specialty engines before and then it would take forever to get our parts. And yeah. so we wanted something that we could 
get our stuff fairly fairly quickly if we mess something up. So yeah, that's why we stick with this, and it, it's really just. If there's nothing really fancy about it. Do you happen to know some of the brands of components? That um, we here? have all of our car valve train uh, parts in here that has been fantastic. Um, the, also, another thing about the cold air is that it's easier on your engine yeah. than boost, nitrous, all that stuff. So it's been really good for my engine and transmission. You know, obviously we're here at the tail end of 24. Uh, so you already had a race season, but yes. looking into next year, you know, what are you excited about specifically with the truck here? I am really excited about this because we just started getting everything lined out, like the suspension. We had some of our friends help us try to get that done. And then we are finally getting down with the tuning to where we're going faster and faster and faster. So I'm really excited to go fast. Yeah. That's my big deal is I really want to go fast and doing it to where it's not hurting anything is even better. Right. But I'm hoping to go run some good numbers with this this year. So that's what my goals are is to yeah. just get down into probably 440, somewhere around there in the 8th mile, okay. trying to stick in that area. And about how much horsepower does the big block make? Um, I don't really know how much the big block uh, does by itself. I'm not sure how it does altogether, but this system can make up to 2,400 okay. horsepower yeah. if your motor can handle it. Well, super cool to see the truck. I know it's been a long-term project, yes. and uh, it's cool yes. to see yes. the evolution of it. Yes, so. yes, and hopefully we've gotten all bugs worked out our bugs because you know we're usually the ones methods <laughs> but but yeah it's it's actually starting to come around and i'm really excited for this next season so absolutely well we hope to see you out yes, there at the track we will be out there tina Thank pleasure you. yeah Thank you. guys we appreciate all you watching this episode of engine of the week make sure you're checking out everything that tina's got going on at tina pierce racing yep as always make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content thanks for watching we'll see you next time Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.